Dear brother and sister, uh, <coughs> today I am going to share the message uh, from the Bible, University of the Universe. That's the topic today. I am exciting to share with you this topic. You might uh, get excited too. Uh, let's let's see. Let's let's see. Okay, Bible University of the Universe, and. Uh, and so you might not uh, heard about uh, this topic uh, before. So I am so glad and so happy that I want to share with you. But before we do that, let's pray and asking the Holy Spirit to be with us. Okay, okay, let's pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, that I am so excited that I want to share the uh, the gospel today with our brother and sister. So help us, uh, especially help me to uh, to be able to uh, deliver the message and uh, also help everyone to open their heart to receive the word of God today and dear Lord, thank you so much for such a wonderful opportunity that we be able to serve you. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Okay, you know, uh, as I said, that the topic today is Bible University of the Universe. And uh, I, I feel that uh, non-believer need to know what they don't know about what we know and believe, and we obligate to tell them about it. We believe the Bible is the inspired Word of God, and the Word of God gives wisdom. Uh, out of His mouth come knowledge and understanding. But who is God? God is the Creator, we said. If He is our Creator, all things must come from Him. He gives purpose for all things that He that uh, that He created. Uh, he is a designer for all things. All things happen according to His desire. So these are the message that we want to de deliver, and we want everyone to understand. But let's see the scripture first. Uh, the scripture today uh, found in Proverbs 2, 6. Uh, For the Lord give wisdom out of his mouth, knowledge, uh, come knowledge and understanding. Okay, so remember that uh, the wisdom is come from God. Okay, now, now we're talking about university and when we talk about university, we know right away uh, what uh, you know what it is. University, you know, university is the uh, the inst institution uh, for the edu ed education, and we know that university hold the high level of education. So and. You know, uh, the education start from uh, kindergarten, primary, and high school, and then get, get up to college and university. And we know that in the university, there are so many departments and so many subjects, uh, so many subjects that we can choose from. And uh, we all kind of subject, all kind of uh, department in the university, such as we have a department of uh, science, chemistry, physics, and so forth. And we have social study and also biology, or you know, those kind of uh, department as subject. And, uh, but, uh, just want to let you know that all of the university uh, teaching the subject that from 
whatever human being know about it and uh, so that is the limit that we learn in the university although that uh, is a higher education like you know we can earn bachelor degree master degree and phd uh, that the highest uh, level of the education and but still still that uh, the knowledge even of phd and uh, in different uh, area uh, still that those knowledge uh, is so limited uh, well you uh, you might not agree you said well you know they learn so much and but you know what i'm saying that all the knowledge that we learn in the university is is the knowledge whatever uh, human being can accomplish and put together for different topic and different subject but today what i am going to present it to you that the knowledge is more is go beyond the university that we have uh, that's why we saying that the university of the universe and this uh, said bible university is because bible uh, universe university of the universe uh, we have only one textbook and that textbook is the bible and you might say that uh, how can that be because uh, ordinary university we have so many many textbook but i just want to uh, to assure you that definitely that bible university of the universe the whole universe the all the knowledge is in the bible and uh only and that's the only textbook for the bible university of the universe and i want to assure you and let you know that all the knowledge of the universe is in the bible because the bible uh is inspired being inspired from god and uh and the knowledge, the wisdom is all from God. So, uh, so we definitely we can find all the wisdom and the knowledge of the ju universe uh, in the Bible. And so that that's why uh, the the knowledge uh, for the ju universe is it more. It go beyond the knowledge that we have in our university uh, here on earth. So I want to let you know and make a comparison uh, to prove to prove that what I'm saying about uh, the university of the universe has more knowledge than our university here even. Uh, the top 10 uh, there's no knowledge uh, from the about the universe so uh, so we we have one more Bible text is second Timothy chapter 316 it said that all scripture that been all uh, whatever in the Bible is given by inspiration of God. So inspiration of God is all from God uh, and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. So this is the, uh, the, the, the scripture from the Bible, Timothy, 2 Timothy 3.16. So this one, is remember is said that inspired by God, inspired of God. So, uh, so this is uh, something that we, all the knowledge that we have in 
our ordinary university. Uh, we don't have that. We don't have saying that in spite of God. Uh, we just saying that, well, this uh, uh, man discover all this knowledge so for us to learn. Okay, now, now I want to prove it to you that I want to prove it to you that our uh, universe, Bible University of the universe has more knowledge uh, than uh, our university and go beyond that because the university keep the knowledge of this world and that's it and uh, it it is it not beyond that it doesn't it doesn't go beyond that and when I say it doesn't go beyond that if uh, we can make a simple explanation is that the university that we have here only teaching and giving the knowledge of uh, what we what we find and but uh, you see the knowledge that we need is the knowledge of I mean spiritual knowledge also but uh, only in the Bible that we have spiritual knowledge but we don't have the spiritual knowledge in our ordinary uh, university okay so that's that's uh that's we want to prove it uh to you uh we want to prove it uh, okay so let's let's say uh to prove point number 1 point number 1 that uh that when every one of us when we were born we born in the environment uh of good and bad, good and evil, good and bad environment. So this kind of environment, uh, the knowledge from the university that we're learning, uh, we don't have the, the answer for that. That why, when we were born, why? That we already have that kind of environment, good and bad. So uh we don't have the knowledge how how what the reason that we have good and bad but you know uh in the bible we be able to give you that reason or give you the knowledge why uh so we be able to give you this answer and uh, the answer from the bible and the bible said well uh from the beginning, when God created uh, human being, God created Adam, Adam the first man that God created. But when God created, and God, of course, God created uh, perfectly, and even saying that God created in the image of God, created man in the image of God. So that means it's perfect. and. And then what happened? It perfect, and later on, later on, because uh, Adam and Eve, the first couple that God created, and they, uh, <coughs> they what happened? They disobey. They disobey God because uh, in the Garden of Eden, that we have Satan. Satan is uh, <coughs> is uh, in the form of snake in the Garden of Eden, and then Satan, uh, you know, tempted uh, Eve, and so that uh, tell Eve that that God, whatever God told Eve, is not true, and and. Eve told Satan that God said, uh, Eve, you know, God said that she can eat every fruit in the Garden of Eden, but only except only, only the tree uh, in 
you know, the tree of forbidden, forbidden fruit. Only one tree that God uh, forbid Eve to eat the fruit of that tree. Once uh, God said, once you eat the fruit of that tree, and you will die. So, and then Satan, uh, in the form of snake, and talk to Eve, saying that you shall not, you shall not die. So Satan saying just the opposite. So try to tempt Eve to eat. So, uh, so we know from the Bible that eventually I and mean, finally that Eve uh, listening to what Satan said. So she picked up the that fruit to eat, and then. So when she ate the fruit, that forbidden fruit, then sin started from at that moment. Uh, so so when sin started, so that's what happened be, from Satan. You know the result is Satan is a uh, is uh, is the devil. So uh, so th- that is something. Anything coming from Satan is bad. So that's how good, good is God, and bad represents Satan. So that's how, you know, bad thing started. Okay. So we have the answer from the Bible, but in our uh, ordinary university, we don't have that answer. The answer for, uh, you know, the question that uh, where the bad thing come from okay so that is one ex- one example that make the difference from the university that we learn here on earth and the university of the universe uh, the bible university of the universe that we suggesting uh, for for everyone to 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 learn so that the different uh, also also, there are so many, many points, but of course today we just to share with you only a few points and just to make our case, just to let you know that uh, our Bible University of the Universe is different. So the second point, the second point that I want to share with you is that, uh, you know, that uh, we we know that we are uh, okay now this is what happened that uh, we know that in America that uh, we have the big problem the big problem is the problem of drugs so the edit the people edited to the drugs and uh, this problem has been a, a uh, cannot unable to stop this problem and so many drug addicted and uh, even the government try to invest so much money try to help uh, re- put up the rehabilitation or whatever try to uh, try to try to solve the this problem but uh, we never never be able to solve it in fact that the problem of the, of the of the drugs is increasing so cannot stop it and uh and also uh the government put put so many prison so try to uh try to help i mean try to uh solve the problem of the 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 crime the crime on the on the on the street, and also cannot effectively solve this problem, because we conclude that because we did not solve this problem uh, at the at the right place. Uh, just like you know, just like if we get sick, we want to go to see doctor, and if you get sick, your stomach. And you go to see uh, the doctor uh, uh, try to uh, give you the medicine for your headache. So that is not the right medicine or the right way to 
to treat your stomach ache. Uh, this is a very simple example. So, so now, so that is the most that the knowledge of the university give to the doctor uh, try to solve the problem. But the doctor from the university, uh, medic, medical university or whatever, and what they can do is just uh, to, the, to, to, to give you the medicine to solve your problem uh, from your physic, physical. But this one is not the physical problem, it's mental problem. Mental problem is that uh, they have no way to solve the mental problem. But we find the, in the scripture about, about you know, this problem. And this problem, what it is that guilty, you know, guilty, feel, guilty, uh, guilt, guilt feel uh, in everyone's heart, everyone's mind the guilty uh, conscious. So, uh, so now we have the, the answer for the problem uh, that, uh, that we cannot solve in the society. And, but we want to let you know what, ha what, what is the guilty, uh, where the guilty coming from. Well, the guilty coming from the, in the Bible saying that when Adam and Eve uh, ate the forbidden fruit, so right away they have the guilty feeling inside of them, and that guilty feeling uh, stay with them forever. So, and let's see what what kind of guilty uh, problem you see in the Bible saying that when after they commit the sin after they disobey God and ate the forbidden fruit. And now they feel guilty. And when God came down to, uh, to see them and they so afraid, so they hide, you know, they hide uh, behind the tree. They hide from God. They are afraid. So because they have guilty problem, guilty uh, in, in in them, so God said, Adam. God uh, looked for Adam and calling Adam, and Adam said, "Yes, uh, I heard you, and I am behind the tree. I am afraid of you." So you see, when sins come to come to uh, come to man, and then created, so they are afraid of God, and that fear and because uh, they they guilt they have guilty problem so that guilty problem and 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 it just uh, pass it on from generation to generation okay so if we want to solve the drug addicted or solve any kind of mental problem and uh, so we have to uh, to to try to tell the person and uh, try to get that guilty feeling out, and the way to get that guilty uh, guilty feeling out is to accept the forgiveness of God. So that knowledge is from the Bible, and the Bible is uh, from the university of the universe that we have. Uh, the solution for the to try to uh, try to solve the guilty uh, problem. So if we can solve that guilty problem, I believe that we can save so many lives. That so many people committed suicide. So many people get discouraged. So many people, uh, you know, and so forth. So uh, if let them know that they, God will forgive all the sins and God will give them hope. And so this is the solution that we don't have in our uh, regular university. 
We don't have answer for that. So this is something that we want to uh, recommend it to you for the university of the universe. What it is that is so simple that you just go and get a one Bible, and that one Bible has all the solution, uh, all the solution, uh, just from that one Bible. Okay, and uh, so so that is uh, second point. Second point that I want to prove it to you that the knowledge from uh, Bible University of the Universe can uh, can can provide uh, more uh, more than what we know, what we learn from the university that we have here on Earth. Okay, and uh, you see many many other points that we. Can, 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 can prove it to you that uh, that only from the Bible that we can find. Okay, and let's say, okay, now the knowledge of purpose for all things, and we, you know, the university of the of, of that on earth here that we learn, we learn that. Okay, that we learn about the flowers. We learn uh, how the plant, how the animal, and how to take care of the animal. The you know physiology or physically or whatever. But we don't have the knowledge that uh, the purpose of God, the purpose for God to create everything. For example, that we don't have the knowledge, we don't have the answer. For the saying that, uh, let's say, if we said why that we have the colorful, beautiful flowers, and we don't uh, in our regular university, we don't have that answer for that. But in our Bible University of the Universe, we have the answer. Because God uh, w- created man, and God want uh, man to enjoy the environment, so that's why God purposely make the flowers different color, and so that man can enjoy, be enjoyable uh, environment. If 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 not, uh, why that the flower? Can have only one color, so that is different, right? So, can you imagine? Can you imagine that uh, if the whole world had the the flower with the same color, or or has only one kind of flower, or something like that? So, this kind of uh, of questioning that. Uh, that we cannot find. So only from the Bible we can find because the Bible uh, saying that God created everything purposely. So purpose for all things, you see. So this also the point that to prove that the knowledge from the Bible is go beyond the knowledge from the regular universities, university. So I always tell people that how fortunate that if you receive or you get the message that uh, that we try to uh, tell you today that uh, <coughs> that you never never get this knowledge from anywhere else, and uh, you know we admire admire the science. The sign we said, wow, look, the technology of today is so advanced. And and uh, those science are so smart, you know. Uh, but, you know, all the science, all the people that working and inventing so many things on this earth is just that those people, those science, they just... Uh, discover 
what God already have for you know for so they discover and put those uh, whatever they discover together and that's all that's all that uh, the science uh, does but but you know uh, beyond that they they don't know beyond that that they like uh, in the area of spiritual they 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 don't have that knowledge at all so only the knowledge that we can find is from the bible so that also and then we talking about we talking about that god the creator uh, god the creator in the bible said that god the creator but outside the bible uh, there's no no saying or no belief no believing that god is the creator in in our university uh, in america in thailand everywhere they don't teach the knowledge that god is the creator but they instead of teaching that they teach that uh, man coming from evolution or something like that and so so we insisted uh, from the knowledge of the bible saying that god is the creator god create uh, man god creates everything so we want to prove uh, <clears throat> from the bible the knowledge of the bible uh, about god the creator and it's so simple it's so simple that uh, you see when god first created adam and and when god created adam and you know what only god and adam at that time right so god would have told adam that god created him right if god did not tell adam of course that knowledge is 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 no more no, no. so when god so Adam, and you know what, Adam will pass on the the knowledge that God told him, and Adam uh, from the Bible saying that before, I mean after he committed sins, and he lives for nine hundred and thirty years. So if you uh, try to imagine. Try to imagine that 930 years uh, of his life, he would have how many uh, generations down below. So many, many generations down below. Uh, I I saw, I saw uh, admire the our Bible, the knowledge from the Bible, because in the Bible that we be able to uh, we able to trace, you know, our uh, our ancestor. So even, you know, in the Bible, we have all the name of every generation. So up to, up to Adam. So, so in that case, so whatever knowledge that Adam got from God, so he will pass it on. So pass it on, he would tell his uh, son and his uh children, his grandchildren, whatever, and tell that God created man because God told Adam that. So this is also to prove that the knowledge is from the Bible. It is so true uh, because uh, whatever Adam know, and he will pass it on. So uh, you see, in our university, we have the the subject of biology or learning about animal or you know and then we we just only know that how to how to treat the animal and we learn how the animal live how the animal uh stay in the nest uh, whatever that's all we learn but beyond that we don't know so, but we know from the bible 
and we we don't know why uh, how that uh, how that the bird has ability to make the nest and is so uh, interested uh, to to notice or to learn how the bird making the nest and uh, so those ability uh, where the bird get those ability definitely we know that from the Bible say God created the birds and God gave the ability to the bird to be able to build the nest to be able to take care of themselves so that kind of knowledge we don't have in our university so it's just the knowledge from the Bible from the university of the universe is go beyond go beyond uh, whatever knowledge we have here in our university so uh, these are the the sample the example that I mentioned it to you but I hope that uh, from now on you can uh, just notice and pay some attention and then you too will come to believe that uh, the knowledge go beyond uh, human knowledge that we learn from the university can only can find in our uh, university of the universe from the Bible. So that is what I challenge everyone to uh, pay attention and to study, uh, to have the Bible as your textbook and be the student, be the student of the university, uh, of the universe, all right? So that is the message that I share with you today. Thank you.